Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamala and welcome back to my laboratory. So today's video is going to be super dope. We're going to make our own molds and then we're going to make our own dominoes. I'll have the links to everything I use as well as the information on how you can keep up with me on Instagram and Facebook in the description box. So make sure you check it out. If you find the video helpful or you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, first step in our process is we're going to make our mold. So I'm just going to cut the bottom of this Tupperware container out. You can use whatever it is that you want, but this is what I had on hand. So before we really even dive deep into this tutorial, I just want you guys to know that serious mistakes were made during the filming <laughs> of this video. But instead of just like not putting the video out, um, I just figured I'd put it out and just walk you through my mistakes so you guys wouldn't repeat what I did, okay? So now that we have the bottom all cut out, we're just going to take some contact paper and put it under um, underneath the Tupperware. I just traced it and um, cut it out a little bit bigger than that circle. And I cut it out a little bit bigger because I wanted to fold up the edges. So we're going to fold up the edges. And I took some tape and I taped around it. And this is just to pre uh, like kind of make a wall so none of the silicone seeps out. Because this is actually my second time doing this. And the first time, my silicone was all over the floor. Okay? So then we're just going to take our dominoes and stick it down onto the contact paper. And it doesn't really matter how you placed it in there just remember to place it with the um, dots facing up because I made the mistake of putting the dots down <laughs> and I ruined my mold okay so make sure you put the dots up because essentially after everything dries this is really going to be the bottom of the mold okay so dots up and just place them anywhere you want but just kind of leave like a little bit of space in between so you can kind of peel the mold back when you take them out so once we have our dominoes down, I'm just going to go ahead and mix my silicone. Mine is a one-to-one -one ratio, and I'm just mixing it according to the directions. So whatever mold, or I mean, whatever silicone you use, just follow the directions, okay? So once I have everything mixed all good, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it over my dominoes. Now, my silicone said that it was self-leveling. So first, when you pour it, it's going to have some bubbles, but all my bubbles disappeared on their own. And then uh, it is supposed to be self-leveling, which it did level out. But I guess my surface wasn't uh, level because you'll see later on in the video. Like some of the dominoes weren't covered or um, some were more covered than others. So I'm not sure if I should have got like used extra silicone and did another layer or if um i should have just put it somewhere else so just kind of make sure your surface is level or i think a better idea would really be to work i did one big thing but i think if you did like two smaller molds it would turned out better so the silicone i used has to sit for 12 hours so after 12 hours i came back and i got to demold my dominoes and it was almost perfect except like four of them ripped when I was taking them out. So that's what I meant when I said like some of the silicone wasn't covering the dominoes enough. And then I just took an X-Acto knife and kind of cleaned up the edges. So now that we're done with our mold, we'll go ahead and work with our raisin. And just basically, again, follow the directions on whatever raisin it is that you're using. Now, my first go around on this, I'm not filling the molds all the way up. I'm filling them about a quarter to a half way up because I'm going to add some color later. So this is our first layer and you can see the four ripped dominoes in this mold. So after about two to three hours, I came back again to do my second layer of raising. And I am working outside for this part because Raisin doesn't cure in cold environments and it's like 90 degrees outside. So I figured it'd be better to work outside instead of inside because I'm not cutting off my air. Okay, so keep that in mind when y'all are working with raisin. Plus you need to be in a well ventilated area and everything like that as well. So working outside was pretty perfect. I just covered this um, 
I just covered this up and actually left it overnight because I woke up at one o'clock to feed the baby and it was 72 degrees outside. So it was actually kind of perfect. So um, next morning I came and I just demolded it. Now some of my edges are rough on my mold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sand those down. And after I sanded them, I wiped them with a wet cloth. And then I actually found this like dotting tool in Dollar Tree. So I just have my little thing of acrylic paint over here and I'm using my Dollar Tree tool to fill in the dots and the lines. And that's it, you guys. This project is actually really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again so I could get my mold down perfect. But I had a great time um, making this and it's super cool seeing what can be done. Oh, and another thing, my purple and green is too light. So use dark colors when you do the mold because you don't want people to be able to see the dominoes. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.